Okay, so we're starting from uh, Miracle C straight away. We know exactly how to open it up. We showed you in the first couple of tutorials. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to continue uh, by making a new page, new file again. This time, we're going to demonstrate the different output um, styles, different type of uh, variables, and the the different uh, outputs so we'll do that now by doing a quick example so like we said we start with uh, the, the pound sign or the hash symbol includes stdio dot h put main again we don't actually need to declare uh, the variable at the top. As you, as you recall in the previous example we declared at the top here we put char and, and then we had x and we had a, a, a value in that square bracket. But here what we're going to do, we're going to actually um, define the variable within uh, the main function. So we're going to do a quick example on um, on outputting the value of pi and for one five nine nine two six five three six okay so here you notice we've used the double as the type for the variable pi pi and as you can see here we've got 10 digits after the decimal point and that's why we use the, the double oops we forgot something here we forgot to put the curly bracket at the top so now we're going to print the output print f the value of pi is prox now what we're going to do here we're going to put a percent now if we put percent um, f it would actually show us a float output so it will show us six digits of that number so it only show us one two three four five six so it will show us that much okay and it will ignore those lot Okay. Now uh, we'll do an, uh, a few additions to that as well to show you what it would actually look like in a different um, output formats. Okay, so we'll do that as well. Pi, and that's it. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to actually print f again to demonstrate the different output formats. Uh, the value of pi in decimal or integer and we're going to put here percent d which stands for decimal pi print f again the uh, value consistency put value of pi in should we try this time characters yep character see what that would look like pi mm, what else can we try string character let's try that the value of pi in string we can also let it show us um, where it's actually going to be located in the memory as well so the value of pi in memory address and that will be P.
so let's try printing that out okay so it looks now it's all finished uh, just one other thing you probably noticed uh, if we actually output this it would it would all appear in one line so we're gonna have to start a few new lines so let's just put that a few ends here backslash n start a new line slash n again and one last backslash n somewhere here slash n okay now we'll close the curly bracket and let's just save it and see what happens save so we go to where did we put the last file we put it in drive C didn't we okay so let's go to drive C now computer drive C and it was my uh, or C examples or something like that wasn't it let's have a look for C examples here you go it's up here now what we're going to call this one is uh, var type var types so now we've saved it let's try compiling and hopefully no errors okay no errors at all so we're gonna build let's close that miracle see is a bit complicated you need to close down the previous window and it's not registered as well so um, it does those strange message messages uh, okay so now that's done uh, let's try now going to this command prompt let's open that up a bit more and put cd slash max slash and it will take us to the root diw and now cd c c capital examples dirw right what did you call it var types so as you can see here var types dot exe and that's what we're looking for so we just type var types in the prompt and it will give us the values so pi is approximately 3.141599 so it only displayed six digits pi in integer it gives us a strange negative number pi in character gives us this funny um, character there string doesn't show anything at all and the value of pi in the memory address and that's the memory address where it's actually located so that's it for this lesson and we're gonna continue on on the next lesson see you soon